Hey, look! It's Ashley and Jameson. Eli! Ah. Eli! Eli! Who is it? Eli. We're home! Alright, so the good news is the load scaled out. We're not overweight. As a matter of fact, they could have put another like six or seven thousand pounds on there because we're only at seventy two thousand something pounds so it's awesome and it's hot in here so we're on our way now we're going to drop this off tomorrow morning we get a car load everything from the car no, load everything from the truck into the car and head to the house Okay, it is now 7.44 and I just picked up the rental car. Not exactly sure how to, you know, <laughs> work it, I guess. I, I'm not sure. Whoa. Oh, that's so cool. Check this out. Push the button right here. And ooh. Okay, that's the end, you guys, because I gotta go back to the terminal. Bye. Alright, so 
we're all packed up and ready to go i mean packed up but now we can head to the house which is about 170 miles away so we got about three hours but we do got to stop by goodwill first because they left this thing on my shirt that i bought from there and i got to get it back so So the boys are back in town. We're in Vero Beach, sort of, no. We're just outside of Yeehaw Junction heading into Vero Beach, Indian River County. Jackass Crossing. That's right. The original name for Yeehaw Junction was Jackass Crossing. But back in the 50s, they figured that tourists wouldn't like the name, so they changed it to Yeehaw Junction. Tourists it, didn't like the town anyways, because there ain't nothing there. <laughs> Nothing but a guy selling oranges and strawberries for way too much money. $20 a basket for strawberries. I can go into Vero and pick them for like, I think it's like $2 a pound. Yeah. So, uh, if you come through there, don't bother. Don't bother. <laughs> come to Vero instead. Get a little basket of oranges with what, or, 10 bucks. If you crazy. are down here at any point in time and you want real good produce and real good, like, just anything really good, go to Plant City. It's near Tampa. It's off of I-4 exit. There's like 50 or something. Or no, it's actually like 30 off of I-4 in between 75 and 95. It's closer to Tampa. But Plant City, they have a huge farmer's market open every day. Stuff is cheap. It's always fresh. And Kip and I are going to have to take a ride over there one time. One, one, one. That's where all these guys that have produce stands all over the state go is Plant City. That's where most of it comes from. And we have the Strawberry Festival there. And then we also have the Blueberry Festival there. Yep. And then the Orange Festival. We have all these orange, we have all these festivals around fruit. The Avocado Festival. That's all the way yeah. the south. That's only block away. So, nobody sent us a joke for today. So, if the jokes stink you that we joke? do, Knock, knock. It's your fault. Knock, knock. And so when you send us jokes, knock, knock. and if they stink, it's also your fault. Knock, knock. Who's there? You. You who? You who? Fix some blah, blah. Yes. Do you think everybody's seen the movie Frozen to where they'll get that? I don't care. It's a big summer blowout because even though it's winter, it is lovely. Almost 90 degrees here in Florida. <laughs> well, we're almost at a house. We gotta unload all this stuff, and I'm gonna take a nap because I am tired. And not me, I'm gonna. I haven't gotten very much sleep because I did a lot of driving, then we did a little bit of sleeping, then we did all this loading of stuff and all this driving. So, yeah, he's driving because there was no. I was too tired. But we're almost home. <laughs> That's it for today. We'll see you tomorrow. Got some cool things planned for tomorrow.